Hey guys, you can wear 100 here. All right, and for this video, I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. I want to just uh, talk about it uh, like something that I really haven't talked about before. So, yeah, if you watch my like my videos historically, like for the last like few years, I have made like quite a few videos about Rugrats, like. I have, like, made a whole, like, quite a few videos talking about, like, various Rugrats subjects. Like, I've reviewed, like, the movies, and I've reviewed a couple of, uh, like, um, episodes of the show. And, yeah, I've just, yeah, I've talked, like, quite a bit about Rugrats in my uh, videos before. And, yeah, and if you've seen my videos on Rugrats, like, I have said that I really did love Rugrats when I was a kid. Like, I think I said before, Rugrats was really, like, my favorite show on Nickelodeon. You know, when it was on, like, I always really did love Rugrats. It really was, like, my favorite show on Nickelodeon. And, yeah, and, yeah, and I know it really is, like, a fan favorite for a lot of uh, people that watch Nickelodeon. So, yeah. But for this video, I want to talk about, like, something else regarding, like, another sort of Rugrats-related subject. What this is going to be about is I wanted to make a video to talk about the Rugrats spinoff with the... All grown up series. So, yeah, before I really like I talk about this, uh, about the series, you see, I guess I'll just like give you guys a little bit of a background for those of you who don't know about it. So, yeah, so in 2001, to celebrate the um, 10th anniversary of Rugrats, Nickelodeon made a special showing the Rugrats like all grown up, like how they would be like when they were like older. Yeah, and the special was, like, uh, named All Growed Up. Not Grown Up, Growed Up. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, Ed, and it not Grown, yeah. And I guess, yeah, that was just because, like, of course, like, with how, like, the Rugrats did talk, they didn't, like, when they were babies, they really didn't speak properly with certain words, and, yeah, that was one of them, so, yeah, it was, like, to tie into that. Yeah. And... Yeah, I remember, like, when, uh, like, they were, like, having the commercials for this special to advertise it. Uh, yeah, it really did have, like, a lot of anticipation to it, because, yeah, Red Rats had been on the year for, like, ten years at that point. And, yeah, and I'm sure, like, there were, like, a lot of people kind of, like, curious to see, like, how it would be with the Rugrats all, like, they were now, like, grown up. And so, yeah, and Nickelodeon did give us, like, this special to celebrate the 10th anniversary in 2001. And... Yeah, it was a pretty good special. Like, I remember, like, like when I saw it, I liked it. And, yeah, and, yeah, and this, the special is even, like, on Hulu. Like, Rugrats is, is actually on Hulu, and they pretty much have all the episodes. And, yeah, that's one of them that they do have. So, yeah. And, yeah, so the special was, like, overall, like, it, it did, like, receive a pretty good reaction from people. And I guess, like, with the uh, success and the positive reception that the special got, Nickelodeon then decided to make a full-on series of it, right, with the Rugrats now grown up at the age they were in that special. And, yeah, they did name, yeah, they did a title this the show, All Grown Up. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah, this show was on for, like, five seasons. It first premiered in 2003, and it aired... Prepared, like, well, its original run lasted until 2008. So, yeah, so it was on the air for about, like, five years. Well, yeah, it, its original run, at least, was for five years. Yeah. And me, personally, I really was not a big fan of that All Grown Up series. Now, I don't really know how this is really going to resonate with people, because, yeah, I'm really not sure, like, what other people really how they really did feel about the series. Like, I've, like, heard people saying both things about it. Like, I've heard some people saying that they liked it, and I've heard other people saying that they didn't like it. I remember I once saw a video of, like, the, like, some of the, like, top 10 or top 20 worst Nickelodeon shows, and, yeah, this was actually on the list. Well, I've heard, like, I did, like, see a comment on, like, another video about All Grown Up of somebody saying that they actually did like it more than Rugrats. So... Yeah, so, yeah. So, some people love it, and some people hate it. Yeah. I, and, yeah, me personally, I just, I was not really a big fan of the series. I mean, I didn't hate it. Like, I did, like, find some stuff interesting about it, but, 
Yeah, it wasn't like absolutely horrible, but yeah, I just really like really couldn't get into it very much, and I really just was not not really a big big fan of it, and yeah, I was just kind of like bored with it. So yeah, so yeah, so I figured I would just like talk a little bit about like why I really was not a, really a big fan of the series. Yeah. Now, like I said, I I didn't really like absolutely despise the series. Like I did find some things interesting about it. Like um, yeah, like they did like like with the all grown up special and Rugrats. Like they do do some like creative things in it. And yeah, they also did like have some have that like carry over into all grown up as well. Like yeah, like in all grown up, you still do have like the original cast of like the cast that like did the voices for the characters in Rugrats, they all do like reprise their roles to voice the characters once again in All Grown Up. So yeah, so there's no like casting change or anything. Yeah. Yeah. And also like I like find it interesting of like some of the things that they did with some of the characters in All Grown Up. Like uh, of course in All Grown Up, like like with Tommy, like like uh, he's now given hair like, Tommy has hair, and yeah, and I found it interesting that, like, in All Grown Up, Tommy and Dill, they do, like, have the same colored hair as their parents, like, Tommy had purple hair, like, Stu did, and, um, Dill had orange hair, like, Dee Dee did, so I did find that kind of interesting that they each, like, had the same color hair as, like, just each of their parents, so I found that kind of interesting, yeah, and, yeah, and they also, like, did some interesting stuff with Chucky in, um, All Grown Up, like, uh, they, they did, like, give, like, Chucky, like, some braces and, uh, uh, all grown up, which I found to be kind of interesting that they decided to do that, yeah, and, yeah, and they also did, like, some, like, other things, like, uh, kind of, um, uh, play around with some of the characters in All Grown Up to just show that they're going through some changes since, like, when they were babies, yeah, but, yeah, like I said, I just really was not a big fan of the series, and I just really couldn't get into it. And yeah, and just for me, uh, they're, and yeah, and really just, my main uh, gripe with All Grown Up is just, uh, is just something that I really feel is kind of like, um, something that really does sort of, um, it does like, how can I say this? It really, yeah, I guess I should say it's just a, a big issue as far as continuity goes. And what that is, is that this series, like the All Grown Up series, it's supposedly set like 10 years after the events of Rugrats. And really, that's my main gripe with this, because Rugrats had, was like on the air, like it, Rugrats' original run was like for over 10 years, and yet this is like set like supposedly 10 years after the events of Rugrats. And plus, like throughout Rugrats' history, like the characters despite the fact that it, like, went on for 10, over 10 years, just, yeah, the characters really did not even really age or get older at all. So, yeah, so, are you really meaning to tell me that, like, just the entire, like, Rugrats series is all set within one year, or even less than that? I mean, in, in, because that, how could it even be set in one year with, like, all grown up really being set, like, ten years after when, like, Workrats had such a long run? So, I really do feel like that's the main, um, problem with it. Just, like, like, the continuity issue. Like, where does it stand? Like, how could, can it take place, like, ten years after, uh, Rugrats? And how can they, how can, like, all that stuff that happened, like, how long Rugrats lasted for? I mean, how can it all be set in one year? So that's really like my main you know, issue with it. Like, it, yeah, this just is something that really doesn't make sense at all about it. And I really do feel that that is really like the main problem with all grown up. Yeah, yeah. And another thing that I really feel is like another issue that I have with all grown up is a lot of this show kind of just seemed like it was like really more like flashbacks of like when the kids were younger, because, yeah, if you have watched All Grown Up, like, throughout the series, like, it does do, like, quite a lot of flashbacks or, like, vid home videos and stuff showing when, like, the the kids in their baby years. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I remember, like, there was, like, one episode where it did, like, show, like, Tommy was not really the baby anymore, but he was probably, like, had to be, like, probably, like, three, four years old at the time. It was kind of, like, a flashback to that. That, like, kind of, I guess, like, in between Rugrats and all grown up. Yeah, they, and, yeah, just, I remember, like, they did do, like, a lot of flashbacks like that throughout the entire series, so it just kind of just seemed to be, like, in a sense, kind of, like, more of just, like, a, a, a lot of clip more clip shows and stuff than it was just like a continuation of Rugrats and how it really deals with them now facing like issues now that they're older. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. And I just really felt that like, could we could really just stick to the, the main, uh, main uh, stories with like them now like grown up and not like have it like, show, like, all these constant flashbacks of, like, when they were younger, yeah. And plus, also, I guess I should also say just, I really felt that this series also, it wasn't really meant for, like, a, an entire show. Like, this idea of, like, the Rugrats all grown up, I really don't think that idea is really, like, really meant for, like, an entire series. Just, like, I really did feel like this really did work better as just, like, a one-time special show with the all grown up um, episode of Rugrats. Like, 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 just, like, when you really are thinking about, like, how it would be with them, like, grown up, like, like, seeing it once, just how it would look, I mean, it, that is interesting to see, but then, yeah, just, yeah, but then when you just, like, see a whole series of it, you're kind of, like, like, well, I don't know how other people felt about it, but for me, personally, I just kind of felt that them making an entire series out of just, like, this idea that really, like, was just meant for... Well, I guess, I don't know if this was the original plan, but if it was something that was just done for, like, a one-time thing and a special, special, I just felt that them making, like, a whole series of the concept kind of outwore the idea. Like, it, like, uh, yeah, I just really felt that, like, once seeing this was enough, like, it, I don't really feel that this really needed to really be, like, branched out into an entire series. Series. So, yeah. And plus, also, just, just, I feel, I also feel that it's just seeing the characters just, like, all grown up and stuff, like, having them just, like, deal with, like, like, life now that they're older and stuff, I just feel the idea is just, it's not really interesting. I mean, just, like, when you're seeing an entire series out of it, and now you, uh, watching, like, seeing them, like, deal with all these issues that they're older. It's just really not very interesting to see. I mean, it was interesting, like I said, seeing it when it first happened in the All Grown Up special, because, I mean, it was a one-time thing, and yeah, we had never seen it before. Or so, yeah, you're wondering, like, how it would be. And when you're watching it, like, for the first time, when you're, like, seeing it just in a special and not a full show, though, it really does work a lot better, because you're just seeing, like, how it would be, and yeah, you're just... Like, and then when it is finally over, you're like, oh, that was interesting. Yeah. And then, but then, yeah, then it gets, like, put into a whole, uh, just all, an entire series, and you're just feeling like, okay, I mean, isn't enough enough? Do we really need to see more of this? It's like, how much of this are we really going to see? And, yeah, it just really did kind of out, out where the idea, and just, yeah, just, I'm not sure, like I said, I don't know how other people felt about it, but just for me, once was enough. I didn't really need to see, like, a full, full, like, an entire show dedicated to this. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. And it's just, like, for, like, various reasons like that, why I really was not a fan of All Grown Up, I just really don't think that this idea of, of seeing, like, the Rugrats, like, fully grown is something that really is meant for an entire series. I really thought that this really would have worked much better as just a one-time thing with that All Grown Up special and not made a, make a full series out of it. So, yeah. So, I don't know. Look, how did you guys feel about All Grown Up? I mean, did you like it? Do you feel the same way I do? Or do you feel that this actually did work out? And you you actually did enjoy the show? Because I guess I can really, like, see, like, both sides of things. Like, maybe people could actually, like, a... You, like, I get into, like, a full-length show of this, like, if they did like the All Grown Up, special enough where they did want a full series out of it, I guess that was probably, like, like, a dem there was probably, like, a wish to see it, since, like, the all-grown-up special was, like, 
overall, like, it was well-received, so I'm sure, like, there were people saying that they wanted to see a full-length uh, series of this, but, yeah, I wasn't one of those people. So, yeah, so if I just really don't know what else to say, I mean, yeah, it's just, yeah, I just, yeah, the series just, it wasn't for me. But, yeah, let me know in the comments if it was for you. Yeah, so, yeah, so I guess that's all I can really say about it. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on here to really talk about it since I haven't really, like, said anything about it before, and I have talked a lot about Rugrats, so I'm sure that there are some people that, that if they have seen, like, my videos on Rugrats before, they are probably, like, wondering what I did think of this series as well. So, yeah, so I just decided to come on here and talk about it uh, for you guys. All right, so, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say about it, and, yeah, like I said, comment on my channel and tell me what you thought of the All Grown Up series. All right, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and, yeah, before I go, I'll just, like, tell you guys real quick that with the WWE having their uh, Clash of the Champions uh, event be this Sunday, I just I figured that, like, sometime during the week, I'll make a review for a, uh, a classic uh, Night of Champions uh, pay-per-view. So, yeah, I'll probably make that sometime during the week. Yeah, I'll have a Night of Champions review up before uh, this Sunday. So, yeah, stay tuned for that coming sometime this week, yeah. But I hope you guys did uh, enjoy this video. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.